Hi, I am Sophie. I will be your trainer for this course on PO Invoice Processing. Here is the process map for PO Invoice Processing. Welcome to the module PO Invoice Processing. This course will take approximately 20 minutes to e completed. This is a simulation training where you will be shown the step by step procedure to complete the process. This course contains video with audio. Turn on the closed captions if you are taking the course without the audio. Once you go through the step by step procedure, you will be given an opportunity to do the process by yourself with appropriate guidance. There is an assessment at the end of the course. You need to pass the assessment to complete the course successfully. A PO is generated when the customer places the order, while an invoice is generated after the order is complete. A PO details the contract of the sale, while an invoice confirms the sale. This is an important activity in accounts payable. A PO invoice paid accurately and timely will help business plan their cash flows better and keeps the vendors happy. Accounts Payable PO Invoice Processing Open the Vim Workplace and type slash opt slash vim underscore wp and press enter or user may search the t-coding user menu. Choose the Vim document and click Execute button. These fields are mandatory and invoice cannot be processed without all these fields populated correctly. Standard input for invoice details are mentioned in this given table. Option 1 Click on Match All Lines from PO will appear if GR is done and the balance should be zero. Click on the PO number. This will direct you to T-code ME23 and display purchase order. Check if the line items are matched correctly. Balance should be zero. Option 2 You also can click on Proposed Lines button. This will show all the available GR in lump sum by PO line. You can choose the relevant GR line and click Insert button. The GR will be inserted into match all screen area. Quantity and amount can be amended manually, if it is the partial invoice of GR. Note, if GR is not done or amount exceeds upper threshold 10% or maximum 200,000 Pakistani rupees, email the PO requisition or 521 ID can be found on ME23 and PO detail. Change the baseline date to the date invoice received in the FRA department note. Date stamped in the document indicates date invoice received in the FRA department fill in the required invoice description in texts. Click Simulate Rules button to perform a system check to highlight any errors in all mandatory fields. Green status means invoice can be processed. Click Submit and the document number will be generated. The document will move to My Completed. For urgent custom payments, the payments are to be made under PO for different vendors. In this situation, we will have to change the vendor code. To search for a vendor code, click here. Key in the company code vendor name with star in the beginning and in the end. Select THR correct vendor. This will later on shows the error and stimulate rules. To bypass the error, click here. Select yes to bypass the mismatch or error. Enter the appropriate comment and save. Click on the Apply Rules, Options to Submit. Now as you have gone through this course PO Invoice Processing, let us summarize this process. During this course, you got familiar on how to process PO invoices, checks to be performed before processing the PO invoice. You also became aware of the changing vendor code in the auto-populated PO. Thank you for completing this course. Hi, I am Sophie. I will be your trainer for this course on Non-PO Invoice Processing in Vim. Here is the process map for Non-PO Invoice Processing. Welcome to the module, Processing of Non-PO Invoices in Vendor Information Management Tool in SAP. This course will take approximately 20 minutes to e completed. This is a simulation training where you will be shown the step-by-step -step procedure to complete the process. This course contains video with audio. Turn on the closed captions, if you are taking the course, without the audio. Once you go through, the step-by-step -step procedure, you will be given an opportunity, to do the process, by yourself, with appropriate guidance. There is an assessment at the end of the course. You need to pass the assessment, to complete the course successfully. Non-PO invoices do not have a purchase order associated and are the result of spend outside a regulated procurement process. This type of invoice is often called expense invoice and is used for various indirect purchases.
An invoice is the input and a requestioner's name on the invoice is the key information. By the end of this module, you will be able to learn how to process a non-PO invoice accurately. A processed non-PO invoice correctly will be sent to approver for approval. A non-PO invoice paid accurately and timely will help business plan their cash flows better and keeps the vendors happy. Accounts Payable, Non-PO Invoice Processing in VIM Open VIM Workplace Type slash opt slash vim underscore wp and press enter or user may search the transaction code in user menu. Open workflow from vim workplace. Choose the vim document and click execute button. Basic data tab. Fill up all fields marked with star. These fields are mandatory and invoice cannot be processed without all these fields populated correctly. Note, after fill up the vendor account and press enter, system will auto populate the vendor details such as, vendor name, address, and bank details. To search for OSAP vendor code, click here. Key in the company code, vendor name with star in the beginning and star in the end is shown here. After filling the required information, click here. Select three correct vendor from the list. Internal requisitioner email. To search for requisitioner email, click here. Key in the name within star at the beginning and star in the end and click here. Line Items tab. Here are files and their standard input in the Line Items tab. NCC and GL information will be given on the invoice. If given, then key the information. If the information is not given, submit the invoice to the coder for further processing. For NCC, click here. Key in GL number and start search by clicking here. Select one that deemed to be most suitable one from the list of entries found. The system will show the changes. Review the baseline date to the date invoice received in the FRA department. Note, date stamped in the document indicates date invoice received in the FRA department. Standard input for invoice description field WIILB text. Click Simulate Rules button to perform a system check to highlight any errors in all mandatory fields. Green status means invoice can be processed. Click Submit button if all the coding information is available and keyed. Click on Submit for coding if GL or NCC information is not available on the invoice. After clicking on Submit for coding, the invoice goes to the coder, who code the invoice and approves it in VIM portal and it goes to the second level approver. After it gets approved by the second level approver the block in SAP gets removed and ready for payment. Now as you have gone through this course, Non-PO Invoice Processing, let us summarize this process. During this course, you got familiar on how to process non-PO invoice accurately in VIM, and also understood all the relevant controls that should be met as per the guidelines. Thank you for completing this course.